the motorcycle three years old yes yeah, very long years ago <laughs> yes then forget the bike the next step the mini moto the next step the one to five then I don't know maybe 30 years ago or 40 years ago then one all Japan championship one to five then to get the uh, championship champion then 2005 they start to uh, WGP one to five then my best best season is the 2007. Uh, you know the KTM factory bike, very strong team. Then championship also third place. Then very very good in that. <laughs> so at what age did you realize you want to make racing a full time job? At what age did you know you want to? Make? Yeah, very exciting the motorcycle. Uh, the, so you know also my 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 daddy mm -hmm. also very he. He, he like the motorcycle race, also my family, everybody like, you know, they are so very exciting. So as a professional rider, what part of racing do you love most? Overtaking, also the starting. The starting great, very, very nervous, but uh, I like this situation. Okay, yeah. Let's talk about your new team that mm. you have here. Yes. Uh, you and and have been friends for many years. Yes, yes. So do you know each other through racing? Kids? No, no. Yes. Do you know each other through friends? Kids? Ah, yes, yeah, I know him because the very, very long years ago with the more, more, mini more pocket bike. Oh, yes, you've yes, been yes. friends since pocket bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Pocket bike, also mini moto, <laughs> long, long time. Also, you know the my team owner Tejima. Also the that pocket the bike, they also mini moto, same team, also Japan Championship, also same team, very, very long time, the same wow, team. So but a... now, for me, the rider and the kids, team owner. Yeah, so, very close <laughs> yes, team that you yes, have. Yes, yes. So, this is the first, for a team as a whole, it's your new, your first time here in Asia. Yes, yes, new team is not so easy, you know, <laughs> not, not enough, but not yet the many parts, also, also, every staff, then, he, he, they don't know the Asian Championship, everything. But you know, the every race, a lot of work, the step by step. Then maybe after two, three races, we need the volume. Yes. Yeah, we know that Takima-san has experience two years ago as racing as a rider mm -hmm. himself here with Suzuki. So has he told has he told you anything about the championship? Mm -hmm. Has he tell you how? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yes, he the experience for me also the good idea and good advice. But but uh, this track is uh, I know this track. But uh, Centur also in India, I don't know this track. They may be good experience that they do not. Huh? So today you finish your first two practice sessions. Mm -hmm. uh, how how was it? Can you tell us? How yeah. do you feel about mm -hmm. coming yeah, back? Yes, the, today was, was not so good weather, then difficult, but uh, first practice is uh, my first contact with Dan Lop Tire. You know, Japan Championship also I like uh, this bike, but uh, I used uh, the original contact. The first contact with Dan Lop Tire, the big difference, you know, the not so easy, but I need more laps. But the front painting is together. Maybe tomorrow. I, I need more drive session. <laughs> Have you watched any of the races? Last year's races? Last year, I like. Yeah. Have, have you watched it on? 
Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, yes, yes, I, I see the YouTube, the Asian Championship. But uh, maybe Malaysia, in the Central, and Qatar. Qatar. Yes. So but what do you think when you were watching it? <laughs> so, what was your thought? So aggressive, many, many lines so aggressive, you know. Very, very hungry, even like that. But uh, so strong in uh, Kazakhstan. Oh, very, very strong rider. It's a good rider. So we know this year is, uh, we have a total of 23 riders, and mm, 10 yeah. of it are from Japan. <laughs> There's a big Japanese lineup. So, which rider do you most look? Are you most excited to race again? Mm, I think the you know the for sure Kazakhstan was strong rider. Also Tamada san, oh, he also the before the MotoGP rider also he win the MotoGP. I know very strong rider. I think very high level. I think not so easy. Many many strong rider. And so we wish you all the best of luck. Yeah yeah yeah. Hopefully you enjoy the start of the race. Yes, thank you very much. Anyway, thank you. Now that we know a lot more about rider Tomoe Shikoyama. Let's look back at the top headlines from Sepa. History was made in the first underbone 115cc race of the season. 13-year-old Kazuki Masaki stunned the crowd with an impressive career first win. The young rider took victory with a 5 seconds gap from 2nd place Hadi Wijaya. Something that is rarely seen in an underbone race, where riders usually go wheel to wheel from start to finish. Masaki made his mark in the championship's history book by becoming the first Japanese rider to win an underbone race. And this was only his second official race. What an impressive start from the young rider. In the Super Sports 600cc class, temperatures were rising and I'm not talking about the weather. When Aslan Shah Kamaru Zaman and Katsuaki Fujiwara gave a fiery final lap battle in race 1, we knew that the two were bound to meet again in race 2. And this time around, Fujiwara was not about to repeat the same mistake once again. It was now or never for the Kawasaki ride. He looked like he just won the race of his life. So the score now lies at 1-1 between Aslan and Fujiwara, all tied up in the championship with 45 points each as we head to Sento, Indonesia. From all of us here in Sepang, thank you for watching another episode of The Future is Asia. Remember to catch up with us on Facebook, Twitter and even Instagram and we'll see you next in Sento, Indonesia.